Hey, my fellow alchemists, this is another wild tattoo story with Rich. So what I'm going to talk to you about is this dude we're going to call S-Man, because I don't need to be putting anybody's actual business out there. And I figure I can tell a lot more of these stories if I'm not embarrassing anybody directly. So, S-Man is a young cat that I worked with about 18 years or 17 years ago. I was real young in my career, and he just started tattooing and learned how to tattoo in jail. Nothing wrong with any of that. You know, that does happen. But S-Man also liked to booze up a little bit. So he used to like to like get a Seagram's can of uh, ginger ale and fill it full of wine. Nobody knew what was going on until one day his mouth was bright purple. So I told the boss, I'm like, bro, cat's got red teeth and purple lips and shit. He's obviously been drinking some wine or something under the table. So they transferred him out of the shop and put him in a different shop. I didn't own it. I, you know, I'm not cool with any of this. So, Kat ends up tattooing a client, talks her into going out on a date, super creepy. Anyway, so ends up talking her out on a date and decides to steal her car and go to the tattoo shop he worked at before us and throw a pair of brass knuckles through their window. So, yeah, he was arrested, but wild cat, man. Like, one day he just fucked these people, threw a pair of brass knuckles through their window after stealing a chick's car. He was living his best life.